Thursday marked one year since the Grenfell Tower fire in London, a disaster which claimed the lives of 72 people. Here's a report by Pablo Navarrete on the tragedy and what followed. Indignation and demands for justice marked the first anniversary of the Grenfell Tower fire, a building that was used for social housing. Some 72 people lost their lives in the tragedy, the worst fire in the United Kingdom since the Second World War. At the end of the day, there's something really horrible that's happened. The people who survived that fire and people who lost members of their family within that fire have had to become campaigners for fire safety and have actually been the uh, leadership of a national campaign to remove these dangerous materials from buildings. That is scandalous. One year after the tragedy, there is unease amongst members and organisations of the local community due to the fact that there have been no arrests as a result of the various investigations underway. Nor has the material used in the building's exterior cladding, which contributed to the rapid spread of the fire, been banned. It's not fair at all that we're standing here today, all of us, to say goodbye to people that shouldn't have died the way they did. And, you know, all I want to say is that we love everybody that's supporting us. We say thank you to everybody that's come here today to support. In the days preceding the first anniversary, British Prime Minister Theresa May visited the Grenfell Tower site and admitted that her initial response was not good enough. In the days after the tragedy, May faced widespread public criticism for avoiding direct interaction with the fire survivors and the local community. Theresa May can come and shake hands and take selfies with whoever she wants. The fact is, until she's willing to stand up to corporate power in this country, we will not see a difference and we will still see communities endangered by their governments who are merely serving as facilitators and conduits of transnational corporate power. If you want to be angry at foreigners, be angry at the foreign companies that are controlling your government. When you walk through the area, it is full of murals, flowers and other tributes to the tragedy. And there is a real sense of a community coming together after such a tragic event. Talking to the locals, you also sense a strong determination to fight for justice. Pablo Navarretti, Telesur, London. And here's a quick look at other stories making headlines around the world.